Hey. Hey. Jay, you didn't even participate that time. Yeah. You're a fucking asshole. Never again. Never. You're never. You've done. You're done. Your heyday is yep. up. It's over. <laughs> it's been revoked. My reign is done. <laughs> Are you sunny now? Mm-hmm. I'm cloudy. Sunny rain? Sunny rain. What time is it? Did it just turn midnight? Midnight. Midnight. <gasps> That's when we're Cyber recording. Cyber Monday deals. Yeah, well, you're going to have to wait an hour, aren't you, asshole? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it for my phone. You. I don't give a shit. Yeah, well, yeah. you'll be participating as about as much as you always do anyway. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> so we missed uh, last week, not that we have any super avid listeners who noticed, but uh, at some point someone's going to figure out there was a gap, and it's because I was terribly ill last week. And I had so to call says. off the podcast. I spent 20 hours in bed on Sunday. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Out of the 24 hours of Sunday, I was in bed for 20 of them. Four of them, I was watching BoJack Horseman. I'm sorry. It's a good show. It's awful. It's, it's pretty a pretty funny, funny show. Yeah. Terrible show. It's not terrible. But we watched like three hours of it here the other day on the living room. And I didn't TV. like a single second of it. A single second? You're so full of shit. I know I remember you laughing at at least one part. At least one. <laughs> Mr. Peanut Butter is like the best comic relief for that show. He's so funny. That and uh, Aaron Paul's character, whose name I can never remember. Todd. I never will. I will never remember his name. Todd. Yeah, in five seconds I'll forget. Todd. Yep. His name was Todd. Mm, who? Uh, Todd. Yeah. Holy shit. His name was Robert Paulson. I get it. God damn. His name was Robert Paulson. Who? Robert Paulson. I don't know who that is. Then you've never watched Fight Club. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been like a decade since I've seen that fucking film. Really? Yeah. That's one of those ones I like to watch, like, annually. <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh. Nothing but laughter? Yeah. I'm sure it'll come across <laughs> in the video whatever the fuck you were on about. I'll get to watch it later. <laughs> I think Die Hard's a movie that I like to watch every year. Yeah, that's a fucking Christmas movie, dude. Mm-hmm. That's the fucking best Christmas movie ever made. Christmas movie. I don't know. It's a pretty close contender with all of the other reindeer. Yeah, all of the other reindeer. Watch it. The greatest movies ever. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Citizen Kane, all of the other reindeer. For those audio listeners, all of the other reindeers on top. Mm-hmm. Fucking... I don't know if it's just that I've heard so much about Citizen Kane. I just it's just bloated and overrated to me. <laughs> I'm um, sure that it has it. its place it's in cinema. It's extremely well written, but it's so boring. I'm sure it has its place in like cinema as like oh it was the first movie to be this good the or do this or whatever. That I but think uh, I will just never watch again. That's considered a classic is um, Gone with the Wind. I'm never watching The Godfather again. That movie's way too fucking long. I fucking love that movie. I watch it at least so once long. Year. I can't watch. I can't deal with that. I watched it once, and I refuse to watch parts two and three. <laughs> can't do it. Part two was good. Part three was a waste of time. You know, I wonder when they're gonna revamp that. When is the fucking remake of that coming out? The Godfather. Yeah. Are they? Did they confirm that? They have to. Everything gets remade, Jay. It's only a matter of time. I don't want that. Yeah, too bad. Moneybags Hollywood, whichever studio owns that, yeah. is going to remake it at some point. You don't have a say in the matter. That's sad. <laughs> Neither do any of the fans. Oh, well. Hollywood, please don't do that. <laughs> I like that movie. Don't do that to me personally. It's a good movie, but eh, I wouldn't care if it got you remade. remake Scarface. I don't really care about Scarface. Nobody does. All I think of whenever anyone says Scarface is that uh, fucking Lonely Island uh, Michael Bolton song. Where oh, <laughs> he just yeah, sings about Captain Jack Sparrow and then at one point he gets the Scarface. It's a very good song. Tony Montana. Yeah. I, just, I really hated the acting in Scarface. I didn't think it was oh, that. Really? It wasn't compelling at all. Oh. It was like Al Pacino doing a bad Al Pacino impression. <laughs> That's like the best way to describe Scarface. <laughs> I uh, I watched uh, Blacklist this past week, or I guess over the past couple of weeks, but it's got uh, James Spader in it. 
He is fucking awesome. And, uh, yeah, the acting in that is pretty touch and go sometimes, except for James Spader. He's fucking solid. But the other people, I mean, I guess they're like kind of no names or whatever. And, uh, yeah, sometimes the acting gets a bit shaky. <laughs> it's really jarring. I know you and someone else were talking about that. I can't remember who. Me either. Not many people watch that show. I really like it, but it's 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 a lot to get into. But right now it's not because there's only a season and a half released. So. Oh, really? Uh, the first season is on Netflix, and then you can uh, on-demand the rest of it. Started watching anime again. Did you? What are you watching? Death Note. Death Note. Mm -hmm. I could never get into that. I always kind of wanted to, but it's just been like, it's one of those ones that was everywhere for years. So I have like a cool down period where like, I've heard so much about it. I didn't start getting into anime until I started uh, working with you guys and everybody else. I didn't get into anime until I was in college. I just watched a lot of it in a short span of time. I mean, I watched, you know, Dragon Ball Z as a kid. Yeah. And Naruto, One Piece. I could never get into One Piece. Really? Yeah. I it just, made me no, laugh my ass off consistently. It. I just, I, I don't, the animation. I don't know. I really like Brina Palencia <laughs> as a voice actress and she does the voice of the main character, I I think. Maybe she doesn't, maybe I'm wrong. It's been a really long time since I looked it up, but um, I can't stand whoever does the voice actor of the main character in One Piece. It just annoys me. Like his, just that general, that it voice. Is really, it, you know... My least favorite voice acting in anime, period, it took me, like, episodes to get used to it, was uh, Black Star. The English dubbed uh, Soul Eater. Oh, yeah. See, that God, didn't I bother abs- me. F- I so much hated that. That was still, I was, like, getting into anime and still, like, getting used to the voices and stuff, so I couldn't really hear, like, like I don't know. Like, it didn't really bother me, but watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, um, Al's voice is done by Lucy uh, Clinkenbeard. Fuck. It's so jarring. I, like, I haven't it watched was... that, that series in its entirety. Yeah. But uh, I know who you're talking about. And yeah. That is horrible. It does not fit. Yeah. At all. It's very Granted, jarring. I know it's supposed to be a younger kid, but yeah. Still. I can still. I hear more femininity in that voice than I hear masculinity. So it's really jarring for me. Especially since, I mean, it's probably just because I know that it's a woman doing the voice, which it, it obviously always is because yeah. no. I had to rewatch the episode where Black Star was introduced in Soul Leader just because I had to like get past that. There are a couple of scenes I'll look up every now and then, like the uh, the fucking the test scene from Soul Leader. Yeah, it's so good. I uh, I like the uh, scene where Doctor Stein comes in. Oh yeah, for the first time. Yeah, speeds in on his office chair. God, one of my favorite characters. Yeah, he's really good. He's also a very easy character to uh, cosplay as. Yeah, white coat, fake stitches, white hair, and a yep. knob on the side of your head. Although some people don't even do that. I wanted to go out and get the fucking office chair and everything. Yeah. Just... Pull around on it. Yeah. <laughs> Have some sort of fake, uh, like, itty-bitty smoke machine so it leaves, like, vapor trails <laughs> behind when you roll around. Okay, I feel like that's overkill, but... Obviously. Look, Jay. Well, you could. Well, I like to talk about things that I'll never do. You might as well just like put a actually put a screw through your head. <laughs> just make it super Get cosmetic realistic. surgery. Like, that guy cosplay. was dedicated. <laughs> Some complicated piercing. Uh, did you hear about that guy who was uh, turning himself into the human platypus? Oh yeah, I saw that. Is that a joke? No. I did see um, this thing about a guy who like got. He had so much plastic surgery done on his face to make himself look like an actual, like, Ken doll. Like, he had parts of his cheekbones shaved off, and, like, reconstructed. It was ridiculous. He looked plastic. I think that's what he was going for. Yeah. It's still gross. Mm-hmm. Have, have you seen the that Russian woman that looks like a Barbie doll? Yes, I have. Creepy. Pretty sure that was mentioned in the same article. I'm pretty sure that was just an oh, article yeah. on that general type of thing. And then there's the person that got covered in cat tattoos and like got whisker implants in his face. And I think it was someone in Spain. Yeah. But a human okay. platypus? I have so many questions as to why, though. 
it's up on the screen now. So the audience can now see it if you're watching the uh, oh. video version. That's the uh, the <laughs> right now, the before, and a platypus. A duck-billed platypus to be specific. So he got, he got a, uh, a gauge in his lip. Right, <laughs> I can tell. It looks like it. I don't fucking know how See, cosmetic I thought, surgery like, works. He was gonna get parts of his cartilage removed and like a weird crude bill Gotta fashioned. Admit, he doesn't look anything like the uh, mammal on the far right. <laughs> it's true. He doesn't look he, he looks anything a lot like it. More like the mammal to the far top. <laughs> you mean yeah. the top? Yeah, Ronald McDonald Jr. Mm-hmm. I believe that's the. Uh, that's a before picture. Yeah, yes, the before picture. I'm aware. But anyway, so that was a fun use of this uh, little app yeah. thing to project things onto the screen. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the human duck build platypus right there. I was way overthinking that, though. I really <laughs> thought, I was hoping like hair transplants everywhere, a weird cartilage bill, like a tail stapled to your ass, like something like that. A tail stapled to wow, your Jimmy, ass. You just go all out with your little fantasies, don't you? <laughs> uh-huh. She's living in a fantasy world. Whimsical. <laughs> but yeah, that wasn't as impressive as I had thought it would be. Yeah, it was more uh, horrifying than, <laughs> than anything else. I mean, I don't know. The The human Ken doll was way more horrifying to me. Yeah. His, parts, his bones, the bones in his face were shaved off and reconstructed. I mean, Josh, while I was looking that up, didn't Josh bring up the female that's doing that? Yeah. Well, no, she already did it. Oh, yeah. She looks like a Barbie. It's creepy. It, yeah, Ugh. she's I've really seen the picture. creepy yeah. looking. She's super, like, it's like, and then, She looks um, too artificial. Yeah. Are you familiar with, um... She looks like Joan <sighs> Rivers. What fuck is his name? She's dead, though. Well, I bet she still <laughs> looks the same. Yeah, good point. <laughs> she was mostly plastic. It's just a heap of plastic in Have it. Have you ever heard of that guy? I believe I believe they call him Enig- uh, Enigma. Oh, man, I thought you were going to say something completely different. We were going to have to bleep you out. No. No. No, Enigma. Uh, he's covered in puzzle piece tattoos. Oh, like yeah. Like head to toe. Yeah, I've seen And has that. horn implants. He, I think he's had as I many as, I want to say, like a dozen tattoo artists working on him at one time. God. That's disgusting. What the fuck? That's yeah. too much. But I think even his eyes are tattooed. Ah, uh, God, I hate that. Which I've seen that. It horrible. looks so weird, and it's so bad for you. I I could never get anything on my face tattooed. Nope. Definitely not. Yeah. Just no. Oh, so I found a, I found a website that uh, all they do is document Black Friday injuries and deaths. That's great. Do you have any like uh, stats from it? Yeah, I can bring it up. Please do. Let's see. I think it's just called BlackFridayDeathCount.com. dot com. Oh my god, that's fantastic! Black Friday Death Count. Hope I don't misspell that. Dot com. Okay. Oh shit! Another death. Uh, let's see. Uh, that person in critical must have died this year. Murder suicide at Chicago Nordstrom leaves what the two fuck? dead. Fuck. Um, at Nordstrom? Yeah, of all places. Yeah, that's that's um, odd to me. Hmm. Let's see. Thanksgiving shopper hit by car at. Why missing? Why missing? I guess. Who knows, dude? Walmart. Fucking city names. Uh, Black Friday brawl at Kohl's in Tustin ends in three arrests. That I believe. Two injuries. And that's it for 2014. Oh, UK Black Friday <coughs> madness. Woman with broken wrist, head injury from fallen TV during scuffle. Those Brits. Two injuries. So, total, five reported injuries and two deaths. Shit. And they go all the way back to 2006 for a grand total of nine deaths and 96 injuries. Jesus. God. Not as bad as I thought it would be, though. Nope. It's still kind of ridiculous. Well, duh. Also, uh, if you'll look over my left shoulder, the human enigma is now on the screen. (laughs) (laughs) I thought I'd show him in all uh, this uh, 50-inch glory. 
in case people were unfamiliar. That was the best picture I could find. I scrolled for like 30 seconds and that was the best really one I could find. angry at the guitar. Like, what did it do? <laughs> Who knows? He You're is a puzzle. Color you know me. what? I, I guess I was mistaken. I don't think it's his eyes that are tattooed. I think it's his eyelids. I, I, I want to say they're tattooed white. Why? So when he closes his eyes, he might trick No, I think people. that's an old picture. I saw one where it was an up close of his eyes, and he had his eyes tattooed. Okay. I have seen someone that tattooed their... Or just just one. Just one eyeball. Black. Just one. It that's weird really as shit. That's fucking weird. Yeah, I mean, you can just go around scaring children all day. Whatever you want to do. That pretty much uh, limits your uh, career options. Child, yeah. uh, child tormentor, uh... <laughs> Walmart greeter, maybe. Child tormentor. That's fucked up. Job description, I guess. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. the picture God. of his eye. I won't lie, that looks badass. I would never do that, but that looks badass to me. No. Uh, on an anime character, maybe not a human. It oh, just no, looks fucking like creepy on as shit. He is now. <laughs> yes, the, the subclass of human he's changed himself into. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. That's too weird. It's super creepy. <laughs> so that guy tattooed his eye. That's a thing. Yeah. So I didn't get to read um, why, but apparently there were some PETA people that were upset about s- fucking SeaWorld or something. The SeaWorld float in the Macy's oh parade. Oh, my God. Uh, so they protested naked. PETA's that been doing logical. that for a while. I don't understand why. Um, I that and um, I, I can't remember the name of the other organization, but uh, some of those feminist groups that uh, protest uh, men's right to uh, be shirtless in public when women can't expose their breasts in public. Oh yeah, there was one person um, who did that. What the fuck did I? I can't do? think of the name of the group, but uh, I know they would protest literally in like New York and stuff, just topless. Yeah, I know there was that. <sighs> I want to say it's like Chelsea Grammer or something. She did the shirtless thing on a horse because Stalin did it. Yeah, it's just an excuse. Think of Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Handler, that's it. Because you you combine Kelsey Grammer and oh, Chelsea. Oh yeah, Handler. I did. I made up a new person. <laughs> you made a love child. Yeah, that's their love child. That's free of charge, ladies. So you know, want to make a love child? That's her name. Chelsea Grammer. They're working on stuff that um. Uh, you know, cause there's no, uh, a woman doesn't carry a Y chromosome. She only carries X so they can take, or they're working on taking two eggs and making children with them so that, you know, if two women could reproduce, it would only produce female children. That's interesting. Yeah. They're working on the technology. I, I so. don't see why that to one... make what true like Am- Amazonian women. I don't know. I don't see why Sorry. that wouldn't be possible. I mean, I guess if you want to get technical, there'd be some issues, but I mean, I well, mean, of course there's issues. <laughs> it hasn't been done before. Yeah. That would be one. Yeah, well. <laughs> according to my super uh I feel like someone's already cloned a human. Well, according to my uh thought, but... super feminist uh psych teacher from college, she said it's already been done in a lab, it's just being kept secret to save the men the embarrassment. Oh. She sounds like a bit of a cunt. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. She was not a she was not a big fan of me. Even though I didn't really do anything. It's because you had a penis. Yeah, probably. That yeah, happens well. occasionally. And you were taller than her. <laughs> How dare I? You I'm don't taller know that. than you like don't know that Josh. <laughs> I would say yes, I'm taller than like eighty percent of the population, so I think I was, a lot of people are angry about that. I want to say it was sometime over the summer. I saw a lady who I swear was at least as tall as you. And I've I, I've seen was, women taller than me. It's scary. I was like, I really want I to flag her down and introduce her to Alan. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to take pictures with people that are taller than me just to prove. Because everyone's like, oh, you're so like tall. Like your brother's old boss. Yeah. The guy was so tall he had to cut custom notches into his seat in order to be able to sit in his truck. That's and so it was sad. a truck, not a car. It's really sad. <laughs> yeah. He was like 6'9 like six, six, or 6'10 or something. It some reminds shit. me of that commercial with, uh, I think it was Shaq for Buick. There's no <laughs> fucking way he got into that Buick. Yeah, where he pretended to be like, yeah, yeah I have plenty of room. Yeah. That was a custom made Buick just for <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah. And it was probably like 
like the inside was just hollow yeah. and he just got in. It, it was, was all just, CG. Yeah, it was None just a frame. Was yeah, he just got to a big green <laughs> box and he's like, I love my Buick. And just put his hands up and they just CG'd the wheel in his hands. <laughs> I have seen his desk, his actual desk at his mansion. It's fucking huge. Really? Because it makes him look like a normal sized person. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the movie, but one of the movies that Vern Troyer worked on, um, he had this little miniature office in it. <laughs> and uh, afterwards, they let him keep the mini desk. So in his house, he actually has this little desk in his office. That's awesome. It's a pretty nice desk. It's just scaled down. For those who don't know, Vern Troyer played Mini Me in the Austin Powers movies. Mm-hmm. He also played Doctor Freak in Bubble Boy. Oh yeah, that's or right. An obscure role, but yeah, never saw that. Really. It was yeah. pretty funny. It was funny when I was younger. I don't know if it holds up. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in like probably six years, but when I did see it, I thought it was funny. Yeah. My first iPod had like, or my first iPod that could actually store movies had that on there. So the best thing happened at Thanksgiving this year. I fucking uh, got my plate. So I do this thing, right, where the first round of food is a sample plate. And I stay upstairs and talk to everybody because my parents' house has a normal floor and a basement. So I get my sample plate and I get a little bit of everything. So I have a full plate and then I go back and get what I actually want and fill up my plate. And then I go downstairs and watch TV so I don't have to talk to anybody. And uh, I went downstairs and Homeward Bound was on. It holds up. Is it? It's a fucking good movie. Yeah. Were we talking about that that a while ago? Yeah. Yeah. I the was wondering was if it good. would hold up. Yeah, was it as yeah, good as all of the other reindeer? No. Nah. We're not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're done. Joke's over. <laughs> yeah, done. That's like the beginning. Or like once an episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, nail it into the ground, then people won't like it anymore. They just won't watch it Pretty soon we're going to either start getting paid by them, or we're going to be sued. <laughs> I, I, I think... Paid by them? Would... I don't think they have any money left. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's uh, all gone. I, guess, I think it was Cartoon Network Studios. Maybe was it? I want to say it was Nickelodeon, around. but Maybe. I could be wrong. That was They're like probably. a Even decade they have ago. Forgotten about that. <laughs> no one's there who actually worked yeah. on it. We're yeah. the only one that lives it's on with, with us. The other forgotten stuff like Freakazoid. That show oh, sucked, though. Fuck that show. Didn't that start as an Animaniacs miniature? Uh, yeah, it was like a skit inside of. A... Yeah, like uh, wasn't that the way Pinky and the Brain started too? I think so. Yep. It was like an in between yeah. kind of thing. I think Same. they got a lot of shows that way. Yeah, yeah like uh. Well, the ratings would spike during those. They're like, hey, give them their own show. Dead study. Pinky and the Brain. Sure, that was a good show. Wasn't it Evil was. Con Carne part of uh, the Grim Adventures of Billy and I've Mandy? I've never heard of that. No, I'm sorry. It was the Grim and Evil show. And then it branched off into two separate shows. Yeah, sure. Grim Adventures of Bill and Mandy. Billy and Mandy. Billy and Mandy. I never... That was like right at the end of my like... Yeah. Cartoon watching days. I used well, to watch it. Children's cartoons anyway. <laughs> I still I watch cartoons. I could not watch I like cartoons. SpongeBob. I could not watch Fairly Odd Parents. It was awful. That show got ridiculous. I've heard some stuff about it and I was just like, no. Yeah, my cousin was watching it the other day. He's only like six. Which show? That's SpongeBob a or... fucked up show. Which one? SpongeBob? Fairly. Or... Yeah. They had a... And SpongeBob. The There's a really baby theory up. on there now. Yeah, apparently it's the same as Poof. Super creative. It's poof. Yeah, good one. It's almost like poop, though. Yeah, it's too it close poop. to feces. <laughs> it's it's too, the same as feces. It's too close to feces. I would watch feces. the show if I had a baby named feces. <laughs> I'd be like, this is a ballsy show. <laughs> no, nah, just call it turd. What if they called it feces? Feces. So it was different. It was fancy. <laughs> then I'd call them bitches. They're copping out. <laughs> Well, of course they are. There was an episode, I heard about an episode of, or I was reading on Wikipedia for whatever you want to take that for, that uh, there was an episode of Angry Beavers that was never aired because they went to hell. And the, yeah. the network was just like, no, you're not There's airing another, that shit. Uh, what, I think it actually aired, but uh, I think this show, I never really watched it, but it was around the same time as Johnny Bravo, uh, <laughs> Cow and Chicken. That was Cartoon Network stuff. Angry Beavers was yeah. Nickelodeon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, different, know, same time slot. Years. But um, no. one of the, they actually went to hell in that episode, and there was also smoking <laughs> in that episode. Really? Yeah, oh, but yeah. I, but I'm well, pretty sure that only aired like once, and then they were like, never again. Yeah. 
and they've never released it on DVD, which is sad. I totally is buy one it. Of the stingiest companies when it comes to releasing stuff on DVD, like full like you know box sets. Yeah, not they, these they don't do shitty it. little these best of bullshit volumes. I yeah. hate those. That's yeah, like best of or whatever. <sighs> those suck. I want the whole fucking thing. <laughs> All of it. Mm-hmm. Also, I've decided that I want to start a new uh, Christmas tradition called Narcissismus, where I spend most of my money on myself and not on everybody else. Get them, like, gumballs. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you know, I'll get them decent gifts, but at a deep discount. Yeah. Yeah. Just just get them, like, a $5, 10 gift and get yourself a, I don't know, 96-inch TV. <laughs> a Tesla. A Tesla, yes. I'll buy myself a sports car. <laughs> Oh, they get, like, DVDs. Just come rolling there's up like, in your Tesla. Here's your gift, There's, like, fucker. that one guy around here who drives a Tesla, and we saw him a few days two. ago. Oh, uh, there are two? Yep. I've only there's seen a guy the who drives guy. A, a silver Tesla, and there's a, that one guy who talks to kids outside of the movie theater. He really does, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, it's creepy. Uh, he drives a red Tesla. Yeah, we saw him a few days ago. He's wearing his Tesla uh, windbreaker. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder yeah. if it comes free when you spend 90 grand on a sports <laughs> I, car. I, I, I don't think so. It's probably one of those stupid uh, driver's clubs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the people Man. with the uh, Lamborghini everything. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that the guy who uh, started Lamborghini was a guy who just complained about Ferraris and Enzo Ferrari was just like, yeah. yeah the the problems with the driver tycoon. yeah yep. he's like problems with the driver not with the machine and he's like well I'll go make my own goddamn car then mm-hmm. and thus lamborghini you was know born. every lamborghini is made out of a tractor it's not true no of fucking course it's not yeah, i didn't think so <laughs> those are supercars <laughs> there was some new company out of uh denmark or something i want to say they did on top gear a little while ago um I forgot what it was. It was like a Zenvo or something. It had a Z and a V in the name, but it was like an ST1. It was a supercar. But like they were driving it and the brakes went wrong. And then uh, it had so much power that taking it and putting it in race mode just or sport mode just made it undrivable. <laughs> I, I love when they bash American cars. <laughs> and then, uh, and then it caught on fire. Oh, that's so sad. And, uh, yeah, it the whole car burned up, so they were like, and that That's was the end of mind. that. I remember it was like... Uh, I totally didn't pay attention. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> it's okay, your hair is fine. I remember it was, like, uh, it was like last season that happened. I can't wait until they start the new season. They haven't started it yet, and I'm so sad about it. As they usually do one in fall and one in spring, but they haven't done the one in the fall yet. It's a good and show. And it's almost Christmas time. I can't watch it all the time, though. I can. Anytime it comes out. Like, I can't watch it on a loop because not all the episodes are that interesting. But uh, as the new episodes come out, I'll watch them. I'm pretty sure your brother spent, like, an entire work day watching <laughs> Top Gear. It was kind of impressive. <laughs> I watched, um, <laughs> when they first put it on Netflix, I watched all of it. I've seen every episode of Top Gear at least once. The early seasons, not as impressive as the later seasons. Because <laughs> it used to actually be a car show, and they're like, wait... That doesn't make us any money. We do money on the special episodes. Ah, oh, we're going to do that. Okay, done. I like the Stig. Yeah, he's funny. The Which one? Just the character in general. <laughs> there have been a lot of them, and they're all funny. Mm-hmm. I love the American one. <laughs> the, he's fat. The Stig's fat American cousin. Uh-huh. So good. I love when they do that. And he's like super fat guy, or at mm-hmm. least they put him in like a fat suit or something. Yeah, it's probably just a... a obese driver i'm sure i don't think that exists yeah they're kind of like uh uh uh, no jockey i don't know the fucking guys who ride the horses man what the fuck yeah jockey that word didn't sound right to me i was like you're like jockey (laughs) jockey that's not a word that's just a made-up word thanks brain Short horse uh, riders. But, yeah, they're super small. You don't see any fucking fat-ass jockeys just because they want to be. The horses <laughs> That's not a thing. Put down. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? Oh, yeah, where Peter rides the fucking dragon from Dragon Tales. <laughs> He's like, you're too fat. 
we're going down. <laughs> they crash into the ground. They're buried under dirt. Oh, and Peter's I think like, that was yeah. Never story. Yeah, it wasn't Dragon oh, Balls. Oh, never, never ending story. Yeah. yeah it was which, the dog way, dragon thing. It's yeah. A terrible movie. I never watched it, obviously. Yeah, I liked it as a kid. I can't watch it now. I can't do it. I tried. I never got into Fern Gully as a kid. That was one that I feel Fern like Gully everybody watched too. and I didn't watch it ever. I it's never too, saw it. It's too much of a hippie film for me. <laughs> Damn hippies. <laughs> it is. I can imagine you walking by a Starbucks Station hippie store. <laughs> Fuck off. So I just happened to be scrolling across uh, Twitter earlier this week, and I saw that they were advertising that the Grumpy Cat movie is coming on this Christmas season. And um, I'm so guess what about channel that. is premiering on? Ooh, ooh. Lifetime. Yeah. Yep. I was like, what? Did Grumpy Cat beat the shit out of its spouse or something? Because yeah, it's the really only kind like, of shit that goes on no, Lifetime. The owners. That's why he's grumpy. <laughs> I was like, that's a fucking terrible decision. Like, I. <laughs> Sadly, I think it's going to get a lot of. I mean, rain. maybe Lifetime was the I only mean, network that would pick it up, but. Probably. <laughs> you but only why? see spousal abuse on uh, Lifetime. I've never seen anything else on there. It's always shitty movies. It's always movies about um, spousal abuse. With really bad acting. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it's because they're low-budget movies. Yeah. I don't like Lifetime. I think I hate ABC Family more, though. Really? Yeah, it's pretty bad. And they play the reruns of, like, sometimes. old sitcoms, though. I've never seen any of the original stuff, but... It's bad. They it's play really some, bad. Uh... <laughs> Was Seventh Heaven originally... Or was that something else that they started and then it finished on ABC Family? Wasn't that CW originally? It might have been. I don't. I never watched it. I just remember seeing it on ABC Family, but I never watched it. I don't it. think I've ever actually watched a full episode of anything on ABC Family. It's none of the original shows. <laughs> I've watched like uh, sitcom reruns. They used to run Full House on there all the time when I was in high school. It was fucking awesome, dude. Full House was awesome. Yeah. What is John Stamos up to these days? Who is John Stamos? He is, uh, I know that he's friends with Don Wait, Rickles. I think I heard they're doing a, f- the, I think they're doing a reboot of that show or something. Doesn't sound right. I want to say I heard something about that, that and that the right. guy who played Joey right and uh, John Stamos signed on. But I'm not 100%. It could be something they I'm like just making up. their love for each other and move in together? Probably, and it would be a sitcom. John Stamos and Don Rickles are friends, though. That's kind of interesting to me. Because they're, yeah. like, hundreds of years apart. Hundreds of years wow, apart. literally hundreds. <laughs> literally hundreds of years and <laughs> difference in age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I saw an interview where Don Rickles was talking about it. He was like, yeah, he was just being Greek and eating salads and shit. Or like, He didn't say shit, though. He's old. Well, yeah, of course. Old people don't say shit. They're like, oh, I'm from a different time. I don't know how to curse. Yeah, he says, like, golly and stuff, I guess. How curse? <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, you said a curse word. You're going to hail. Yep. I bought a new microphone. So did I. And Jay got a new microphone. Finally. I have the same one I've I always no, had. I no longer have to talk in, like, blowjob position. Like. <laughs> we get it. Mm-hmm. Yes. You no longer have to speak to your penis. Yeah, exactly. I tried to keep my microphone purchase a secret, and then and then Josh found out. Yeah. The observant yeah, yeah, prick. He came up to me and he was like, "Did you uh, did you drop your microphone off at Alan's place? No. That fucker. <laughs> Fucking asshole. He didn't want me to know. Who was supposed to be a supreme. It but, was Supreme. But I wanted to make sure that the shock mount fit on my mic stand and I was too lazy to take it back off, so. <laughs> <laughs> it fits, yay. Yeah, it does. And it's all silvery. It doesn't match my mic stand at all. It's exactly opposite my color scheme. <laughs> but yeah, I got this for like 60 bucks and I was like, what? Done. God damn it. I got mine for 78 I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you shop on eBay. Buy that shit I used. On eBay. I looked everywhere. <laughs> I got this and the the 991, the itty bitty microphone. 
<laughs> oh, it ki- oh, it was like a kit. Yeah, it came with the eighty bitty one. I had to buy the shock mount separately. So I guess my cost was, was more than yours. I was yours. looking at the nine ninety on um, Amazon, and it was like ninety something dollars, I think. Yeah, on Amazon. Yeah. So you got a really yeah, fucking good deal. I don't deal. think I got mine on Amazon. I think I got mine on uh, B and H. Mm. Mm. God damn! Finding a shock mount for this thing fucking impossible. The only okay. place that sells it for Am- is Amazon. Damn. Thirty dollars. Thirty Jesus goddamn man. dollars oh, yeah, for the man, shock it's mount. Match that microphone. I wouldn't have cared. I just wanted something that would fit in. And this was the only thing I could find on the entire internet. It well. There were other ones, but they were way more expensive. <laughs> uh, Even the one on eBay was like the same one, but going for like 45 bucks. I was like, what kind of fucking asshole is going to spend 45 bucks on it? We could spend 30 on Amazon. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I literally <laughs> spent $70 all together for the uh, mic stand, the microphone, <laughs> and uh, the pop filter. Bought everything on sale. Yeah, but that 991 is so weird. That mic is just as wide as the XLR plug, and that's it. It's kind of awesome. I may have to yell at the cat in a minute. Mm. I apologize for any audio blowups. Okay, she didn't. I thought the cat was going to step on the laptop and stop the recording. I was going to be so fucking upset about it. <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She just hopped up on the couch and now she's hanging out on the couch like a stupid cat would. So I finally got the uh, cat. Sorry, go on. (laughs) So I finally got the uh, the movers reserved for us. Yay! That was an adventure again. I picked a certain company and I tried to go to their website just searching on Google. And just mistakenly clicked on the first link, submitted my information, and it was uh, another fucking phishing thing. Yeah, that <laughs> I was sucks. so fucking upset. I was like, damn you impatience, why? <laughs> so I've gotten a bunch of calls and emails from these other companies again, and I'm just like, God damn it. <laughs> I'm so upset at myself for not just reading. <laughs> I just couldn't oh. be bothered. Good God. What? Sorry, she's just like face deep into her asshole disgusting thanks for the brilliant uh, out of frame description (laughs) the people listeners slash watchers are totally going to understand Uh. if you've ever seen a cat face deep in its own asshole then you'll understand (laughs) i did see a really funny meme one time uh where it was like a cat and the meme was i don't always lick my asshole but when i do i make sure you can see (laughs) it's so true it yeah and it's disgusting. true. If no one's around, does a cat lick its asshole? Yes. <laughs> it licks it more seductively. <laughs> seductively? Sure. It's trying to seduce itself. <laughs> they just like tongue their own asshole? I don't understand. Sure. This conversation is so unnecessary. <laughs> you started it. Talking about fucking tonguing cat assholes or something oh god that's disgusting what's wrong with you <laughs> you said it first it's on tape tape i can put it on tape oh okay <laughs> just to just to prove yourself correct yeah what a dick <laughs> if anyone ever was like oh yeah it's not on tape it's a digital recording i would go and find magnetic tape make a copy and mail it to them and be like go fuck yourself san francisco <laughs> Wait, why why are you singling out San Francisco? I meant San Diego. Why are you singling out San Diego? Because Anchorman. I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense to me. Anchorman. It's from the movie. I get that. Yeah, okay. I don't understand the San Diego thing. He was a San Diego... Yeah, it's been too long since I've seen that, yeah. that movie. He says, "Go fuck yourself, San Diego." Oh, okay, gotcha. Hmm. Yep. San Diego it stands for whale's vagina. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, the, that first movie was so good. The second one was like, I, w- I wouldn't call it unbearable, but it was pretty Stupid. fucking bad. Yeah. Like it was. 
I would say it was good up until like too much. I, I didn't even think yeah, it was funny anymore. Yeah, the last it. the last one was like that last part was way overdone. I was like, like what the fuck? Is that a ghost? <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this movie. Why isn't it over yet? I'm just, I'm done with it. I'm finished. I don't want it anymore. I, I liked the first half of the movie. I think the second half I was like, eh. Yeah. It was bad. <laughs> it was, it was pretty bad. It was really bad. I didn't want to, I don't want to say it was unwatchable, but it was pretty bad. I thought I was going to belch, but then I didn't. That's good. Why? Uh, funny feeling. Yeah. <laughs> you got a little tickle. You're like, I feel it coming on. I mean, you can just feel belches. It's trying to I mean, escape. You can just feel gas in general. I feel like that's a thing. It isn't. You're full of shit. I know. <laughs> I know you know. Good. So, uh, Japanese... Um, cell phone carrier decided that a good promotion would be to uh, fire shrimp out of a cannon like not an actual cannon but a shrimp cannon and have it fly through flour, oil, breading and then flames and then it hit a wall and landed on a plate what the fuck (laughs) I love that so much that was the whole commercial I don't know why it was just a thing that's really fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was Japanese. What do you expect? Less weirdness. Yeah, that's, that's... No. More weirdness. All the weirdness. All the time? I was wondering what the fuck you were watching that was all Japanese. Yeah, it was that commercial. It was two women standing there got scared by the shrimp cannon, and then it was, like, in slow motion, and... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why they did that. It didn't have any explanation in the article I read either. It was just a short article talking about what happened and that was it. And then they moved on. Other than the article ended, I guess they didn't really move on to anything. There was nothing to move on to. So I did not know that Guillermo del Toro was writing uh, the Justice League movie. Mm Mm-hmm. As long as they don't change all of it, then it should be pretty good. Yeah, apparently he's done uh, writing it. So, we'll see how it turns out. Yep. I, I want to believe that his copy is probably pretty good, as long as they don't edit everything out. They might. Yeah, it's very possible. Then again, I'm starting to believe that a new DC movie will just never happen. <laughs> I just don't think anyone's ever going to finish one. Batman vs. Superman, that'll be a thing. Yeah, supposedly. <laughs> They're filming it. Yeah, I don't Pictures it. of the set. Yep, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> also, I didn't know that, uh, or I think I'd heard it before, but I'd forgotten that Michael Jackson tried to purchase Marvel so he could uh, cast himself in a starring in a Spider-Man movie. Yeah, I heard <laughs> about that. That's really <laughs> fucking weird. I was like, good on you, Michael Jackson. That's awesome. I should have said yes. Did you guys like the uh, Hellboy movies? Meh. Never really watched them. They were okay. Why? Oh, they were pretty cool. I mean, I, that's the only other comic book type thing that I can uh, think of involving Guillermo del Toro. No. Didn't know he was involved with that. Wrote and directed, I believe. I believe he wrote it. I know he directed it. Yeah. That is like a favorite student, Ron Perlman. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! So, top twenty fourteen movies. Fucking Guardians of the Galaxy isn't even in the top three anymore. Really? <laughs> X Men: Days of Future Past must have opened in another country because now it's like way past everything. Fucking mocking Jay is right behind it. It's only got like eleven more million until it pushes it out of the top three. Or not pushes out, but takes the number one spot. Oh. Sorry. They put top twenty fourteen movies and then started with number six. Why? I, good question. Not one I can answer. 
week. Yeah, Guardians is still number one. Okay. How much does it have? Three thirty one million. Uh yeah, it's still far and away ahead of everything. It's still eighty million ahead of what's in second place, Captain America Winter Sold the Air. And the Lego movie. The Lego movie? Yeah, the Lego movie was only two million behind. Uh Captain America. Not bad. I'm kind of surprised though. Like I thought it would do more, honestly. Because every kid ever has played with Legos. Nah. I thought the Lego movie, like, I wasn't that psyched about it, but I thought it would be, like, a phenomenon. Like, I thought everyone would just go crazy for it. Like, Frozen crazy? God. After I saw that YouTube video, which censored out parts of the song, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the movie is ruined for me. I can't watch it without just laughing. Like, nothing in that movie is serious to me anymore. It's all just one big joke. It's called Unnecessary Censorship. There, are, uh, I don't know if there's a channel. I'm sure someone has a channel for it, but there are a lot of those that are pretty fucking funny. Yeah, it's uh, it goes along with uh, what is it? Bad lip reading. Yeah, those are pretty fucking funny too. They had some of those for the Hunger Games that just came out, and I don't know if their band was already established or if they just started a band, but now they have music on iTunes, <laughs> and they made like a song out of like lip reading stuff and singing. I don't. It was really weird. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but. Uh, you know, hmm. you can check it out. Bad Lip Reading on YouTube. Their uh, their channel has it posted. It should be their most recent posted video. Speaking of YouTube, there's one guy that uh, I don't even I don't even know if he listens to the show, but I'm not gonna call him out. But uh, he fucking uh, he followed us on Twitter, and then messaged me and was like go follow me on youtube and i was or you know i subscribed to me on youtube and i went and i looked for his channel i couldn't find it on mobile and then i forgot about it and then he sent me another message a couple of days ago and was like follow me on facebook and i swear to god in like every one of his uh twitter posts because i follow him from my personal account he's like uh every one of us like follow me on facebook or whatever i'm like fuck i don't do facebook i'm not fucking following you on facebook asshole leave me alone <laughs> I almost told him to piss off, but I didn't want to. He's got like, I want to say he said the other day he's got like 5 million views and like tens of thousands of subscribers. I don't remember. Almost 60,000 maybe or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, I'm not going to call him out, but he really annoyed me. Fucking telling yeah. me what to do, asshole. Yeah, that would be a little annoying. <laughs> yeah. You can suggest that I subscribe to something. Don't tell me. To subscribe to something because I'm not gonna do it. Like those people that, or those assholes that tell you to have a good day. Like those people. Mm hmm. Yeah. Fuck those people. Yeah. They just make statements instead of suggestions. Mm hmm. You could have a good day. Or I hope you have a good yeah, day. Yeah, just say hope. Just hope. That's like one of the, uh, well, there's about to be a beep in the alarm because so my brother's coming in. But, um,. There was a uh, one college professor I had that um, I learned that it's really awesome to type "hope all is well" at the end of your emails because it makes it sound like you really care. It's super funny. <laughs> so I always I always do that like with professional emails. I'm always like "hope all is well" and I sign my name. <laughs> I was like, "That's the one thing I learned in college." Just knowing you, that, if I saw that, that I would thing. still find it to be sarcastic. I would still just be like, hey, he's just being an asshole. <laughs> yeah, but that's a good thing about writing. You could you say anything and I'd be like, this dick. Yeah, that's the best thing about writing. Yep. <laughs> See, originally I really hated texting, but I really like it now because all you have to do is an emoticon. That's it. Nothing has to be genuine ever. I don't, I don't use emoticons. I don't use them very often either. I don't even know where to find them on my phone. I do them manually the or nothing. It's the smiley face that's on the keyboard. Yeah, sure. I'll look for that at some point it in my life. The smiley face on the keyboard. Yeah, I'm going to take time out of my day to look for some asshole smiley face. It's a weird image. <laughs> it's like a it's like a smiley face, but it's brown. It's got a hole in the center. Yeah. God, that's exactly damn. what I was thinking of. <laughs> Not what I was thinking like, of. Like, exa- like to a T. What were you thinking of? I wasn't thinking were you of thinking it. of an asshole with like a smiley face within it? I wasn't thinking of Like they anything. spread the ass cheeks and then <laughs> there's just a smiley face like, hey. You guys are fucked. Little Pac-Man or something. You do the ass talking thing like Ace Ventura. 
That was fine. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> Love uh, that first in, movie. Back in the days when he made good movies. Yeah, it's true. He hasn't really been in... You're going to tell me Burt Wonderstone's not a great movie? <laughs> classic. Instant <laughs> classic. It was bad. I'm so sad that Steve Carell and Jim Carrey were in that movie. Yeah. I'm really sad that Jim Carrey was in uh, Dumb and Dumber 2. Oh, uh, why? Because yeah. that was so bad. <laughs> It was so bad. I never saw it. So Apparently, they had a lot of fun making it. I'm sure it looked. It looked like. I mean, it had its moments, but it was essentially the exact same thing, but not as well done. Wow, well, that's sad. Yeah. People waited what twenty, 20 years? years yeah, it's movie. twenty years. Yeah, Jeff Daniels practically like a thousand now. So you know, I was talking to somebody about this the other day, but like fifty nine. I hate that things, like, now people have started announcing things, like, you know, years and years in advance, like, DC or someone was talking about something like 2020 or something, and I was like, I don't like hearing about things that far in advance, because I might be dead before that that thing happens. <laughs> like, I don't want that realization, so I, I don't want people to stop it. Just, just stop. Just no. Just no. Nothing... Nothing more than two years in advance. I declare it now. <laughs> you can say coming soon for as long as you want, but don't put a number on it. <laughs> don't finalize that release date. Yeah. I was like, I wonder what the statistic is of people who are looking forward to this and the ratio of them that will be dead by the time it comes out. Why do you think of the most morbid shit? <laughs> I was thinking why? The same thing, like, why? <laughs> I don't know, because I'm fucking morbid. I like metrics. Man, that's a cool car. I wonder how many pe- how many of the owners have died since it has come out. No, nah, that's stupid. I like that People child. die in car crashes all the time. That's a good toy for my kid. I wonder how many kids have choked on them. Yeah. <laughs> it's not for everything. It's just like for, you know, it's more like time passing, not cause. Sure. Whatever. You sad, Alan? All the time sad. Okay. The saddest person in the whole world. I don't think world. he's never been truly happy. <laughs> One day. How do happy? Maybe when he's killing someone. <laughs> I didn't say it. One every time time. every time I meet someone that's just way too nice, I, I genuinely feel like they're just going to snap. You know? Yeah, like people everyone. that are way too nice are just burying their all their emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are. It's, it's awful. It's terrifying. You never know when they're yeah. gonna snap. <laughs> when they're gonna just rip the shoelaces off their kids and strangle someone? Why are they wearing off their, kids? what kids? Huh? Why are kids? they wearing kids? Oh, I don't know. Kids. Why, why not a different brand? Do nice people wear kids? Skechers, maybe. Okay, there you go. I, I'll believe that nice people wear Skechers. I wear do, Skechers honestly, or New Balance. Never mind, I can't I can't do this. <laughs> Alan wears sketchers. I, I wear sketchers. <laughs> no. But I like metrics. Like I wanted that fucking armband thing when I decided it was too expensive, but what I really want one of those uh fitness bands so I can track oh, all yeah. my metrics and see how I sleep and shit because I feel like that would be awesome. I like stupid I like numbers that serve no real purpose other than entertain me. Makes sense. Like, I know that band's not going to make me get more fit. I, I'm well aware of that. I just want to know the numbers. I bet you want to know how many squares of toilet paper you use in a year. Don't you? I could almost do that math. Almost. Are I use, like... consistent with your square I, I use... Yeah, I use, like... I have, like, a system. It's, okay. like, a certain... Like, uh, we you buy, really like... have a system? I mean, we buy, like, triple ply, so I use, like, three squares. Damn. But do you that's... ever do you ever wipe more than once? Yeah, <laughs> all the time. But I'm sorry, you you wipe once and you're done. No, but I know some people they're just like, oh, it's good. No, and that's why you Sup- get skid marks. Supposedly, your brother does that. <laughs> I don't think so. Supposedly, I don't think he got so. really mad about it when his brother said that. But I, uh, it's possible. Also, I don't think so. I, j- just yesterday, I learned about my brother that uh, when he wipes, he stands up. What? Like, why? Why would you make it more difficult? He consistently will get up before wiping and just wipe while standing. I feel like that would be more awkward. Well, it is. He, he's like, yeah, every time I wipe, there's just nothing there. I have like the cleanest shits ever. 
I was like, okay. Uh, what? I mean, I Probably think it's just... Probably because he's not wiping deep yeah. enough. He's <laughs> just wiping. He's standing up. <laughs> he just wipes like his left ass cheek. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. there's nothing on my ass yeah. cheek. Yeah, he's, fine. He the was, canyon is closed. There's nothing. There's nothing there. He was probably just like, "Oh, yeah, I got not, up one day and I'm I just put sure my pants what on." He does exactly, like if he like hikes up one of his legs or like <laughs> spreads them. But I know, he, no, on, like, Captain, the I know he stands up now, Captain Morgan style. One one foot on the uh, the ledge of the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. that's what I assumed. Or if he like, I I'm hope at sure. the very least he wipes front to back and not does back some... to front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but I like, like, it's not consistent, but I have, like, an average. So I could get, like, an average number of squares of toilet paper that I use. No. It, it was just really weird for me, like, for him to say that. Like, I never knew that about him. Oh, yeah, it is weird to stand up and wipe your asshole, <laughs> just, just in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> out there. That's an abnormal thing to do. I know another guy who consistently sits when he pees. One of the, the guy who does, uh... Gavin is a slow-mo guy on YouTube. He sits in he, when he pees every time. Who? Gavin. Really? Yeah. He sits when he pees. They've talked about it before. Mm-hmm. That's really fuck. Apparently, it's better for you. Is it? Yeah. I feel like that's weird. I don't want to sit. It's too much effort to fucking sit. I feel like it's just up. an inconvenience. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. I told Josh when we get our house, I'm going to piss in the backyard like all the time just so I don't have to like walk all the way to the bathroom. Because the deck door is like right by the living room, so I can just walk over to the deck and piss you off the deck. You can't just whip your dick out in a neighborhood. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, especially if it's dark outside. Nor no one can, can prove you anything. Stand naked in your own room and press your dick up against the window. <laughs> you can't fucking do Look, it. Look, the window next to mine is the privacy foam over it, so it works both ways. Oh my god, they're gonna call the cops <laughs> on us all the time. He's pressing his dick against the window again. <laughs> If they take a picture of me, I'll file charges. There's going to be dick Burr. prints all over your window. I'm going to be like, Alan, <laughs> don't do that. What's wrong with you? I'm just going to get one of those <laughs> sticky hands and slap it all over your bedroom window and be like, Josh, guess what happened to your window? That's disgusting. Cat, please. You know, that fucking bitch. I bet they do make those. Those stupid, uh, uh what... What are those things called? I don't know. You're going like this. I'm confused. <laughs> it's one of those. I don't know what the fuck they're called. They call them sticky hands. Yeah, those that are dick shaped. I guarantee you they make them. Yeah, probably. I remember one time we went to a, uh, what here in Georgia they call a novelty store because sex toys are uh, illegal. But um, we went to one and the cashier was like, uh, oh yeah, like we were just like dicking around or whatever. We were just hanging out and. Um, and uh, the lady walks up. She's like, oh, you guys want some fake boobs or a fake ass? And I turned to whoever I was with. I forgot who it was. And I was like, we could make a person. <laughs> <laughs> and the cashier just burst out laughing. <laughs> I, don't know. I know we went to one once. And we were looking at the awesome parody movie titles. Oh, yeah. And right next to it, we noticed this uh, this picture of a dick and it reminded me of the uh the super bad no not super bad it, yeah the super bad drawings do not lay down on my mod um at the very end where he just has dick uh caricatures mm-hmm. it was like that and we were looking at it he's like oh did you notice the drawing i drew that <laughs> he was so proud of <laughs> that drawing. Awesome. i only thought of this because you said a fake ass <laughs> But uh, at my senior prom, or technically it was my girlfriend's senior prom, uh, we were walking through, and she introduced me to her uh, female friend, at least that's what I thought, and uh, like 15 minutes later, I found out that it was just a uh, very good costume. Like, oh, really? It was, yes. <laughs> like, it was It was as if, like, uh, he deformed, like, a foam hourglass around his body. That's <laughs> like, so weird we know somebody who did that once he went to the rocky horror picture show cross-dressed and he did a pretty good female yes but this guy twerked (laughs) no that wasn't a thing back in god 2010 but (laughs) i want to go to a rocky horror picture show i don't ever want to uh i've been it's all right it's i don't think it's anything special i mean it's something you should do once if you want to but it's not something i would do consistently or volunteer to do we can't touch when we're petting a cat. It doesn't work that way. No. What do you want about? Why can't you guys? T- I don't. 
I don't or get it. Or if we touch the same cat, it's gay. No. Oh. No. no. Josh well, is being yes, a homophobe. But you touched my <laughs> Foma hand. I didn't touch your hand. Bullshit. I totally didn't touch your hand. We I'll can fucking... rewind the tape and yeah, I'll show you. We're going to have to do that because I feel like I would have felt a hand. Maybe you're just retarded. Unless, like, the tips of your fingers are just really hairy and I wouldn't know, but, uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I didn't touch your hand. Touch his fingers are like caterpillars. <laughs> <laughs> just the, uh, just the creepy, tips. Just... There. They're like little troll hairs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like dick this fingers. Got... <laughs> How about that? Yeah, dick fingers. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what we were talking about now. You were talking about your cross-dressing friend. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. So I figure, I don't know what time we're at. We're probably cutting it a little bit short this week, but, uh, well, there's the watch beep that says an hour, so I guess not. <laughs> Sorry if that was super loud in the microphone. I pulled up to the mic to look at it, and then uh, it beeped right into it. So, uh, just to quickly go over the top three of the week, we oh, had, uh, <laughs> Mockingjay at 56 million, and then Penguins of Madagascar at a whopping 25 million, less than half of what Mockingjay made. <laughs> and then... That's still surprising to me. Big Hero 6 at 18 million. That was a really good movie, by the way. Meh. Big Hero 6? I did not like it. It was average. If you don't want to hear about Big Hero 6, uh, fucking turn off the podcast. What what did you not like about it? I just... <laughs> or what did you like about it? I did not like it. I'm not going to say it was the greatest story ever, but I thought it was a really fun movie. It was just simply entertaining. It took so goddamn long to get into the story, I no longer wanted to watch the rest oh. of it. Sorry, a cat just clawed me. Uh-huh. And ripped my pants a little. That's cool. I'm going to have to agree. It took. It seemed like it took a fucking hour. It did to get that goddamn story started. It took an hour. It should have taken I, five minutes of just montage flashback bullshit to get took, over that. Up. It, didn't, it took a while. Exactly. To, uh, a perfect example. It took a while to set it up, but I still think the story had some charm to it. Just just during the setup alone. Also, maybe if everyone didn't say they liked it so much, I would have liked it more, but uh, I I didn't. I didn't yep, know. Alan hates Lion King. He no, hates Lion Frozen. King's the best. It, actually, Frozen is overrated. Movie ever, he fucking hates it. No, it just takes me a long time to get around to liking it. I think Frozen's overrated. Lion King's fucking awesome, though. That's a classic. Lion King, you fucking kidding me? It goes in the vault, dude. In the vault. That's how Other classic it is. shit movies go in the fucking vault. <laughs> Even the ones that they, they scrap after eight months of production. They're just like, yeah, fuck it, throw it in the vault. We might use it later. <laughs> There's probably a fucking sandwich from 1956 in that fucking vault. <laughs> We're bringing it out of the vault after 50 years. Yeah, no, we'll leave or it I guess in. it would have to be 60. God. <laughs> that would be one gross fucking sandwich. It would just be... Would it even booze. still be sandwich? No, it'd probably not. It would just be not. black paste. Yeah. It would just be penicillin. <laughs> oh, God. They did that on a YouTube podcast once. They opened up army rations from, like, the Vietnam era. Oh, oh God. Oh, my God. It was disgusting. <laughs> they had, a like... What was it? Canned apples or... No, peaches. And they opened uh... it, and it was just black ooze and, like, chunks of just pitch blackness that's awful and they had a meat one Ugh. oh god it was so gross good <laughs> thing you can't smell through the internet they were planning yeah, that's on true actually you lose no smell o it, but uh the smell was too much and the just the appearance they're like yeah we're, we're, we're not gonna eat this <laughs> okay well i guess that's as good a spot as any to uh wrap up so if you want to get in contact with us, you can find us on Twitter at Nads Nation. You can also find us on YouTube at Nerd After Dark, the channel. You can email us at Nerd After Dark, not Nerd After Dark, Nads Nation at gmail.com. It's been a long day. I'm losing interest in what I'm saying. Uh, you can also visit nerdafterdark.com if you want to find regularly scheduled uploaded content. And it's usually on Mondays. Um, 
I want to shout out one of our friends started a YouTube channel called uh, Combo Dropper. So check that out. He plays a lot of... Uh, I can't remember what that game is. It's an old game they remade for the Xbox One. It's free, but only for certain characters like Primal Instinct or something. Some fucking fighting game. Oh. He Not plays cool. a lot of that. But anyway, you can check out uh, Combo Dropper on YouTube. He's pretty funny. He's still getting used to making YouTube videos, but he's pretty good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we'll be back next week. And then the week after is looking a little iffy. We'll see. Because uh, that's the week that we move. So <laughs> things may get a bit dicey that week. We have to be in Marietta at like 8 a.m. on uh, that next Monday. Yep. On December 15th. So uh, we'll see how that goes. That's going to be a shit day. That's what that's going to be. <laughs> yeah. Moving day. Moving sucks dick. I fucking hate it. It's the worst. But we'll go on about that next week because it'll be closer to time. Anyway, we will see you next week, barring any unforeseen events. And until then, I'm Alan. I'm Josh. And I'm Dre. We'll talk to you later. Good job, Keo. You just slept the whole time. You're a good kitty. Yeah. JD's being a fucking asshole clawing the absolute yeah, shit out of me. Me. out of me.